Hey guys, that's Mr. GZS here. Welcome back to more of Let's Play Earthbound. Last time, we heard that Dr. Randall announced that an Apple kid got kidnapped, so we've gotten all the way over here to Winters to um, try to find him. Now, I just want to say, I did some off screen training. Ness is now level 60, Paulo 54, Jeff 52, and Pooh 48. Um, I never really intended to grind, but I must say, the reason why is, take a look at that. This is the Sword of Kings. I'm actually already went into Stonehenge to, um, get one of these. And later on the video, I'm just going to put it, post in a clip of my reaction, because in that reaction I explained how to get it. Etc. Etc. So this is actually me. So um, things in this video may not be chronological, but anyways, we'll just go ahead and move. Stupid mouse. Go outside to go into Stonehenge Base. Now the enemies here are really tough, so make sure that you're all healed up and ready to go. But anyways, oh. By the way, Paula learned Defense Down Omega, which, um, yeah, what it does is it gets rid of the defense of all enemies, so that's, as opposed to a single enemy, so that's very helpful in this area. Let's try to avoid the photo location by going to the north. And here we are at Stonehenge. Now, I really like it. This is kind of neon-ish, but right here is basically where the, um, where the giant eraser being. I obviously erased it already, so I can go out and get that Sword of Kings, because the Sword of Kings is a pain in the butt to get. Which surprisingly, I got on my 8th try as I'll probably end up repeating in this video because I've already said it in my reaction, but the thing about the Eraser Eraser is that I still have it. Now, as you know, the Eraser Eraser erases erasers, but the Eraser Eraser does not erase the Eraser Eraser. So, you're stuck with the eraser eraser you cannot erase. As opposed, just like the pencil eraser, it can erase, the pencil eraser can erase pencils, but cannot erase the pencil eraser. If I was the one designing this game, I would like have a flag so that if all pencil erase pencils were erased, the flag would turn on and the pencil eraser would disappear saying, displaying the message the pencil eraser had been worn out and that would be the same with the eraser eraser. The eraser eraser is designed to erase multiple erasers, but there's only one eraser in the game. So, yeah, the eraser eraser erases er erasers, but it's pointless when you only have one eraser and thus you're unable to erase the eraser eraser cannot erase itself. That was a pretty long run that was a pretty runoff sentence. And you probably didn't even understand what I just said. But I'm just going to pretend that you do because I'm not gonna spend any more time explaining it. Now there's not gonna be any enemies in the first room, so don't worry about it. Although in the next room you're gonna encounter some pretty tough enemies. Like, here's one right now. This is Mook Senior. It um, has a 4 in 128 chance of dropping a PSI caramel, but it's actually very strong against most PSI attacks, uh, specifically Rockin, so I'll just have Ness Bash. Um, actually, a good idea is that. If you have the KC bat, go ahead and equip it, and you might um, end up one hit KO enemies. Uh, if you do get into a fight, just use the big lead bat from the inventory to switch back. But 
Anyways, Dash. Now I switch to Thunder, and Paulette only has Thunder Beta, so I'm just gonna have to stick with that. Shoot and. Um, let's try Thunder Gamma. It should hit it three times. And didn't hit him. But it did uh, quite a lot of damage. Uh, that's a problem about PSI Thunder is that. It takes. It hardly misses. It misses quite often, and. Good thing I actually got to that last few hits in, or else Jeff would have been a goner. And anyway, I have to use waste time using Gamma. How much HP do you have left, Jeff? Uh. Really not that bad. I think you can go on a little bit longer. In the area, I actually recommend going in this direction because it's closer to an item, I believe. Well, yeah, yeah, it's closer to the item, just by a few steps. But hey, a few steps is a few steps. This present contains a spicy jerky. Check it. Hey, not big enough though. Now here's a new enemy. The Starman. Now the um teleportation of the Starman is pretty strange. What it is is that it'll try to um go into your party. However, if you attack it from the um side, it counts as a back attack. Which is kind of different because um, the front of that counts as a regular encounter, but the size is what caused the back attack, but... Anyways, they're not that tough. Just go ahead and just bash. This is basically the only enemy that can guard. See, it went down in about two rounds. If I had the Casey bet, it probably went down in one hit. Especially if I back attack it. There's a green swirl. And I didn't need the KC band at all, okay. And Paolo's level 55. Now it's pretty easy to end up leveling up here, so, but try not to level up to level 99. Specifically Ness, I don't care if you get Paula, Jeff, or Pooh level 99. Just keep Ness as far away from level 99 as possible. Okay, sorry about that. My ear was plugged up. Anyways, uh, this room. There's tend to be a lot of enemies here. Thankfully, there was only one star man, which really surprised me. Now, up here, there should be an item. Just go up these stairs. I believe this is a Guts Capsule? Yeah, Paula takes it, but I'm gonna give it to Jet Ness. So, use... Ah, uh, Ness. Now, hold on just a second. Okay, sorry about that. If you're wondering why there wasn't any updates last week, if you want the quick answer, it's because of ear infection. Ear infections really suck, and why am I going into my inventory? I just used the item. Usually this room has a lot more enemies. That or I'm thinking about the next room. Ooh, magic butterfly, uh, You know what? Take an opportunity to heal people. Jeff seems to be the only one that needs to be healed, I think. Alpha A is good enough. There we go. I think that's the first time we use PSI in this area. No! Ah, uh, we hate this enemy. This is the atomic power robot. It can use basically life of Omega and healing itself and all its party members. Plus, it explodes. 
Best thing to do is just run when you see these. Thankfully, they have a pretty high running rate. Now... Uh, people say this area is large, but really it's not. It's actually a pretty short area. Because all you really need to do, you don't really need to do much. Uh, much of it is really just battles. This is blood I'm thinking of with a lot of enemies. Okay, that was just to me two minutes of me trying to run away from a power supply robot. There's the back attack. Got it into the battle anyways because of the second star man, but pretty easy anyways. Heavy Bazooka pretty much does the trick. Ah. Now here's a strategy that I'd like to bring up. It's that you do not have Ness use PSI whatsoever, but have Paula and Pooh use an occasional PSI magnet. Now, um, the reason why you, I say you don't have Ness um, use PP is, is PSI is because he does not have magnet and you pretty much want to conserve um, your psychic abilities for the boss. Speaking of psychic abilities, Slash Gamma! That's a very good move to have. Luckily, I got the back attack so I can run away from this battle and... It will always be successful. See? Back attack's gonna be a 100% chance of... Running. There we go. It's very easy to get a trick with the Starman's movement. They're actually quite easy. You know they're supposed to try to get a back attack on you by going into your inventory? Well, your party? But instead they just... No. Oh, come on. No! Surprisingly, I got out of that on my second, um, move. Not again. That battle went exactly like the previous one. Seven set of every beams that just replenish fuel supply. Wow, all of my PSI Thunders made contact. That was awesome. And I believe this is the final realm. Well, not final realm, but close enough. Now, here is where you can find the Starman Super. There we go, Starman Super. This and me can be somewhat annoying, but it's not too annoying. It doesn't have a lot of health. Um, what it does is that it has a PSI shield, so make sure Jeff um, goes right ahead and use that. Um, the shield killer, I mean. And 
Does that Paula just use PSI Magnet? Um, Paula and Pooley use PSI Magnet because we're pretty close to the boss and that's just go ahead and bash. So really it's not that tough. Um, just make sure that you're aiming all at the Starman Stupid because he's the one you can call for help. Uh, shield killer to Starman Super. And what am I doing? Paula, use my magnet. Goes a uh, shield killer for his very first item, and you know what? You use magnet as well. Magnet is not affected by shields. And there we go. Now you can just go ahead and bash and bash and bash. And it dodged. <laughs> of all the people you had to aim for Jeff. Destroy my shield? Well then I take a PSI. But I don't have any PSI. Anyways. That was a crappy level for Jeff. Just increase your J3 by 1. That wasn't even good for Pooh. I wasn't asking a favor for Pooh. But yeah, uh, 
Ness currently has the item, I might as well go ahead. Don't worry about accidentally dropping it because I heard that it's impossible to drop the Sword of Kings. But give that to Pooh. It quit. It goes up by about 30 points of offense, so equip it. Oh man. I can't believe it only took me 30 minutes. Only half an hour, and I'm full of people. I heard that Chucky Conroy took about an hour and a half. And because of how long it takes, many less players don't even bother with it, but. I got it! I got it! I can't believe I got it! Uh, Paula and Pooh, um, their PP is actually very high, even though they know that I've been using a lot of PSI attacks, but. To be fair, um, by the way, if you do, uh, here's a strategy for getting the Sword of Kings. There's a bridge right here with a broken harmonica. Once you go there, this is actually the area where the Super Starmen spawn. Like, you have about 1 in 128 chance of dropping, I fought, I fought only what? Uh, it's one on the way, there were two on the way here. Uh, they were like... Wow! Only eight! I've heard stories of people going on fighting like about a hundred on these days, but it only took me eight fights to get this. No, I am not lighting. No, I did not use a cheat code like I did with Entei. Hell no! I'm not even sure if you can hack with it. Actually, I don't think there... Oh, there, oh, there is a cheap option in SNES 9X. But I didn't use it. What proof? Here, I'll open up my cheat. And... Oh, it says apply cheats, but... But, um, if you actually go over and open it up, there's nothing here, um... Yeah. Nothing. Cheat? Oh. Search for new cheats, well. Yeah. Didn't use any cheats whatsoever. <laughs> and then fell. It, I mean... Took me three hours to get Ente without cheating, and in the end, I cheated anyways. Uh, but Sword of Kings, eight fights, eight freaking fights. Oh my gosh, I am so proud of myself. Ah, oh man, I, I I just have to get my reaction to my camera, and I don't think I got over with my strategy, but. No, I keep interrupting myself because I'm... I explain my strategy and get about, about one halfway through only to end up breaking myself, but... Broken Harmonica, go ahead, what you do is that you equip Ness. This is where the Casey Bat comes in. Equip the Casey Bat, and it will boost Ness offense about... Probably above the line. Right above the line where you get automatic, um, hits, um, the Sturman are pretty, um, interesting, has very weird, um, swirl, um, areas, I guess, swirl areas, that's disgusting, you got a sturdy image in my mind, but, if you hit them on the sides, you'll end up gaining a green swirl, and, <sighs> I just really um, healed up with Poo and Paula with PSI by using Magnet on the Starman and Starman Super. Um, Magnet and Omega works very well when you have multiple enemies because it hits all enemies. But anyway, so yeah, if you get low on PP, just use PSI Magnet, but use Casey Bat and basically you'll end up with a real green swirl and you'll get a auto win. If you do end up at going to a fight for some stupid reason, you can um, go to the goods items and switch to uh, the bat that you're usually using. For me, it's the big league bat. I'll actually switch right back to it because kicking bat sucks with it missing all the time. But uh, just go back and forth between the 
Uh, Hermana got present and tried to lure the Starman into your area in order to back, easily back attack it. They actually stay around um, without teleporting for a good five seconds so you can go up and get a very easy um, back attack on it. Not really a back attack since you're touching them by the sides, but still. Again, if you are using the KC bat, just go to your goods menu and switch to the big link bag, and that will be using the uh, big link bat for the rest of the fight. But yeah, I seriously come back, can't believe it. Took that little, little uh, got in quite a few stat boosts. Um, uh, this is now at level 60. Yeah, I gained uh, about six levels. Paula 54. Jeff 51, Pooh 48. That seems to be actually known. That's only gained three levels, but yeah, usually people end up getting to about level 80. And by the way, you do not wa want to get to level 99. Do not do it. Do not do it. Do not grind to level 99. To be on the safe side, don't be, go beyond level 80 or stay as far away from as possible as 90, but the reason why you'll find out later, like, uh, what part does the reward for not getting at level 99 happen is in part 46, you'll find out why you do not want to get to level 99. Nine with Ness. I mean, if you can get it with Paula, Jeff, and Pooh, that's perfectly fine, but it's Ness in particular you do not want to get at 99, but only three boosts, uh, level boosts, and go ahead and check out the previous parties. Look up on um, what levels they were previously. That way you can get a good idea and you'll know for a fact. That I'm telling the truth, you did see right there, no cheats. <sighs> wow. I'm just utterly amazed. I have been ranting for about about 11 minutes now. I think I'm going to go ahead and end this session. I think I'm going to plot this um, in the middle of the next part. Actually, you, not the next part, but I think I'm going to stab this in the middle of part 40. Of course, you would already know that if it was plotted into the middle of part 40, but 10 minutes is more than enough to praise myself. And I'm just going to go back, save, and then um, I'm recording this on Thursday. Um, so tomorrow I'll go ahead and upload the Stonehenge video, which we will get Sunday, but you would already know that because you're watching the video right now. So, uh, yeah, I think I'll stop right here. I seriously can't believe it only took me eight fights. I've noticed that when enemies are grouped together, it's easier to run away from them, and what am I doing? Go ahead and equip the KC bat. I know it misses often, but if I do end up getting into a battle, but it increases my chance of winning KOs, and if I do get into a battle, I can switch to Big Blade back from the menu. Now this is a good item. Broken harmonica, good. Does Jeff have any inventory space? Yes, he does. So good. Paula, give the broken harmonica to Jeff. Jeff gets all the broken stuff. Uh, you know what? You can go over here and despawn him. That's all I got to a lot of Starman supers. Oh, really? Now here's what I'm talking about. If Ness is still having the KC bat, just go ahead, do the big link bat, and that should solve your problems right there and then.
And Polio is now level 56. Very nice. Nice PP increase. <laughs> I don't know that you said that about a girl. But, anyways. Pooh, since you have managed, you are basically the main healer now. Uh, life up Alpha and Jeff. Close enough? Close enough. Right there, perfect example. Boom! No! Okay, that was pretty scary. Okay, just cut a little bit there. Not too much, just make my way back to that entrance. Is that, I was gonna say, was that enemy up on the wall? Alpha and Jeff? Okay then. Not okay. Lisa didn't attack me. Lisa got a one hit. Lisa is a present there containing PSI caramel. Lisa got a back attack. Laser didn't kill me. Laser got an instant kill. Laser got a level up. Laser that's not a door, even though that it looks like one. Laser this is a very long ladder. Laser that's getting an Oscar shot from Paula, even though that yeah, she's fat. There's some exit mice if you want them. Uh, this is a like, very good time for um, to do some healing, so... Go ahead and check who needs um, some healing. Ness really does need some healing. Okay. Not good. Blue, use life up on Ness. There you go. Go ahead, take an exit mice if you want. I'll get one on the way back. Now, I like this. This area is flashing quite a bit. Um, you can get some very good items here. So there's no reason why you can't um, beat the area and come back here. Here's some new enemies. The Military Octobots. They... I don't know, have you ever noticed that um, there is actually no such thing as a regular Octobot? It's, uh, it's always something, uh, freeze gamma. Go ahead and use a heavy boost. You got, there's not, really not much to them. And freeze beta to the other one. Luckily, you pulled around somebody who already attacked, so that's good. And there we go. Before 
Not poo. Yeah, took too much damage. Conveniently, I said poo and poo gets a level up. Shield Omega basically protects your entire party from physical attacks. Am I still equipped the casing? Yes, I still am. Uh, not a big deal. That is a big deal, though. Okay. I've been running away quite a bit. Uh, Paula and give that broken trumpet to Jeff. I think that's a defense shower. It turns into and stats. Uh, that was fine. Jeff. Uh, PSI. I'm using Alpha instead of Beta. It's like I care less for Jeff when that's not the case at all. Jeff is a very good party member to have. Uh, straight. Now here's something I've always noticed about battles. Pooh mirrors, Jeff spies, Paula prays, and Ness runs away. Way to make Ness seem like a win, but anyways. Um, Paula is very weak right now. Um, just have uh, Pooh use Beta and Paula. Great. I'm pretty much running from all the battles now. Uh, I think there is one more item right here. A speed capsule. Definitely give um have Ness use that. Cause Ness is the slowest party member. And I missed a present. And that's a very good present too, uh, let's go get it. Pixie Bracelet, have Paula go ahead and equip that, um... Let's go ahead and take it, I, um, prevents hypnosis, which is very useful. I guess I should have given it to Ness, but at this point there's not really a whole lot of enemies that use hypnosis. Oh! <gasps> I can't believe it! You kidnap- You kidnap Mr. T! You bastard. And, for some reason I had a big boom. Oh, everything is alright. Oh, but it's still recording. Me, me, me. Yep. Anyways. Oh, good lead. Apple kid. Max, what's wrong? I can't lose my slogan. Hello, Capos. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Can't see anything. Jeff, where is Jeff? Jeff is far away from you. But, anyways, I'm very concerned about that boom. Um, I'm just going to end it here, and then the next part, we're going to take on the boss. And we'll see you guys then.